There's, God, there's still so many. This is amazing. I'm so addicted to these. My name is James Martin. I live in beautiful Oregon wine country, and my product is Copa de Vino. Our technology allows winemakers to be able to package wine in a way that they've never been able to before. I hope to be the first entrepreneur to actually come back and be a shark. Yeah, all right. Look at that turtleneck. I'm here today looking for an investment of $600,000 for 20% of my company. Unfortunately, just to have a simple, single glass of wine, you have to have wine bottles, corkscrews, and fragile wine glasses. That's why I created Copa de Vino. America's first wine by the glass. Just huh? open and enjoy. I've definitely seen shit like this Cheers. before. This product is the only vessel that allows you to have premium wine by the glass. I have the largest retailers and venues in the country begging to serve my product. I just need your help to create more inventory. Begging? Years. Are you selling us on a packaging system or are you telling me you want to enter the very competitive wine business? I have a winery. We make about 2,500 cases of wine a year. In the first six months, we've sold product into 26 states with the largest Cheers, distributors bro. in the country. So you Eat grow your own Chardonnay grapes and Cabernet Sauvignon? I buy fruit from my friends that have vineyards. So. Was that the easiest glass of wine you've ever served yourself? It's a little hard to take off. No kidding. James, am I buying? Well, we've been in the market for five months, and we've had a half million dollars of sales. Wow. That's quick. So people are buying your wine because it's easy to carry. Absolutely. And they're also getting, when they're drinking my product, they're also getting a, a... Don't come and tell me this is premium wine. It's not. It's just industrial wine. Yeah, but you're a wine snob. Let's so be what? real. To me, I wouldn't buy this wine. That's just me. That's We're going after wine. the market. I think the packaging Damn. is the play. Have you patented this packaging? Absolutely. Why do we even need to be in the packaging business at all? Mm -hmm. Why is this not a patent asset that we go and market to the largest packaging companies on earth? You know, the wine industry right now needs companies like mine to service them for these niche needs. They don't want to invest into equipment and have to learn, especially this process. Jesus, he called it's his own art. business. This is, not, this is a proof thing. of concept what is what you're saying. They want to know it works because they, they've seen it fail so oh, many absolutely. times. Yeah. So this is their, his way of showing that it works. Listen, there's a belief. Pioneers get slaughtered and settlers prosper. You're just too early for me. I'm out. <laughs> so if you can come back to me and say, Mark, here's how I'd value the patent intellectual property, here's how much cash I'd like, and here's how much stock I'm willing to offer, mm -hmm. I'm wide open to that. Yep. And Maybe then you can ass own off. and run with your, your wine company mm -hmm. and build as big a brand as you like. He wants to sell the packaging and the wine, his wine. He doesn't want to take the wine out and sell the fucking packaging separately. But you've already devalued the brand to to worth this much. No, they, no, they we didn't devalue it to zero, not at all. Or a negative. No, not at all. They just said they're not no, interested. No, no, no. It's just that we don't want to be in that business. It's not worth anything. We, but I think for for me, I'm not going to try to talk you into splitting one from the other. And my gut feel is it's not the direction you want to do today. Damn, look how sweet. So I'm not for that that turtleneck is not doing him any favors. I don't think I can bring anything to the table in this. I'm out. The real value in all of this is the IP. This category could explode, and you will make something off every time somebody rips the top off one of these. That's sure. a business, my friend. Absolutely. That's how you get rich. Can you focus on that and tell me how much of that you'd sell me for $600,000? The reality of what you're asking is some of the competitive advantages that I have as a brand and as a bottler, I'm going to be offering and giving away to another entity. And currently, I'm not yes. ready to do that. What? Isolate the IP. All right? Yep. I'll buy 51% of it for $600,000. I'll take control of that, and I'll take my chances in terms of licensing this to everybody in the industry. I'll worry about your darkest fear of not making any money. Mm -hmm. and, and then you can run the brand, you can run the bottling, but I will license this to them. But every time that happens, you'll be getting 49% of what I bring home every month. If I could explain to you guys a little Don't, clearer. You're, you're, no, 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 James, you gotta stop selling. I'm a dream come true for you. Why give away your special sauce when you can have it integrated into the other aspects of your business that right now are successful? Will he get an answer at any point? Look, James. The answer is no. Well, then counter me. What do you want for 51%? $3 million. Forget it. Not a chance. <laughs>
James, listen to me. I am going to go buy a thousand dollar bottle of wine tonight and I'm going to drink it because I'm weeping for the opportunity lost. <laughs> it's the only way I can feel better about it. Cheers. 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 That Thank was it. Okay. Wow. I forget who he is. I don't care now. It's over. He's a dead man walking. Right. Just <laughs> another deal. Damn. Kevin totally missed the mark. I don't know about that. I think he definitely had a good deal there. He could literally just license the fucking packaging and then just sit back and be like, yeah, whatever. But he really likes his own wine and it has to go in his own fucking w I don't know. That's uh should have took that deal, man. He came back on, really? Uh, single serve wine business is apparently everything James Martin thought it was and not getting a deal may have been the best thing that happened to him. Martin got the last laugh on the Sharks in 2015. The business is approaching 20 million in annual sales. I can't personally recall the last time I didn't see the product in the liquor store. I've never seen this fucking, I've never seen this shit. I've seen other types of like stuff like this. Companies valued at 70 million, making it one of the more successful businesses to appear on Shark Tank. In January of 2021, he cashed in when the business was acquired. He eventually sold it, but it says for an undisclosed amount to a splash beverage group. He fucking sold it. I want to see his. I want to see his next episode when he comes back. You know, walking away from a deal from Kevin O'Leary was brutal, but at the same time, Kevin O'Leary only wanted the patents. He didn't see any value in the brand. We wanted to build Copa de Vino as a brand. You have those samples. I'm proud to say that Copa de Vino has gone to five million dollars in sales in one year. My company is growing so fast that we're putting all our revenue back into inventory. We need capital. We need capital fast. And that's why I'm going back. Oh. <laughs> For the same product? Oh. I'm back. God, are you kidding me? Thought we kicked you to the curb. James, <laughs> you're still dead to me. Nice to see all of you. I'm here today seeking an investment. Oh my God, he's the same fucking thing again. The same fucking thing. Joy. He's not wearing the fucking Last turtleneck time this time though. Well, this year, over $5 million in sales. I cannot keep up with demand. And to catch up, I have to build a second bottling line. We missed out on a perfect opportunity last time. Kevin, last time I was here, <laughs> you told me you were gonna drink a thousand dollar bottle of wine while weeping i've bottled a thousand dollar bottle of wine in my copa glass with your investment we'll drink these together what was the offer you walked away from last time? last time i was here it was my offer you offered six hundred thousand dollars for 51 percent of the ip and the patents and you know what i said it was a great deal it was even more than i would have offered you screwed up when i last saw you i said you were a dead man walking and you were dead to me. Now, are you a ghost or are you real? You know what? What? I bottled a thousand dollar bottle of wine. In the decision to bottle this, I created a name for you for this wine. I call it. Oh, he made a new one. The <laughs> dead man walking. <laughs> I like it, James, but I want to ask you a question that's gonna help <laughs> set you free. What if we could take the technology to the largest three players? He still, he still wants it. the same we'll thing. Oil, and I will quadruple your net worth in two quarters by simply taking this to people that have distribution 50 times larger than you. So we're Why right back to the original offer. Yep. Of course it is, because it's the right thing to do. I don't want to do battle with you anymore. I want to figure out how to do business with you, because I want to drink that good wine, not the swill Barbara's drinking. I'd like to figure out how can I invest in the He keeps in the knocking his wine. Drink. Look, I have a better understanding than I did last time but I'm still not comfortable that a $6 million valuation is worth the investment. You need to start telling us that you're negotiable on the equity portion. Give, give me a chance to explain the valuation, okay? Most national brands, which we are becoming, sell for two and a half to three times the gross dollar value. When you just sell a brand and it yet. shifts over you're not to- there You're not there yet. You're, when you're, will I be there? Look, one more year. No, no. But you're not. James, sure. you know, when you just came in here again, I was happy to see you for some reason. But as I'm listening and listening, I'm having the same visceral reaction to you. For some reason, and I hope you take it well, I didn't like you then, and I don't like you now. <laughs> but take it well. Oh, no. But I don't know where that's coming from. I just have to say, I'm out. What does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but like, I just don't, 
fucking like you. Like, I mean, I, I didn't like you then. I don't like you now. I'm out. Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm not arguing that you see it at six million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to see that we see it at something less. Jeez. Potentially, there's somewhere in the middle that we can meet, but we're asking you to start to move the needle and start to move the valuation so that we can respond. <laughs> You've tortured me so long, I'm going to put an offer out anyways. I'll do the $300,000 for 12%, because that's exactly what you're worth right now. So you're saying the company's worth $2.5 million today? That's exactly what it's worth. You have something of tremendous potential here. At some point, I know I'll be able to convince you to set it free. And you'll make so much money, you can kick back on the Copa hillside and say, Kevin O'Leary was right. I'm so lucky. Before you make a decision, I'm going to try to change his mind on something. Do you have anybody you can call, you know, or got to go to the bathroom or anything? I do have someone to call. Go make your phone call, because okay. we need a moment. All right. 12% isn't a whole lot of skin in the game. I think we offer him more money at a slightly lower valuation among three of us. I like it. I think so you're not appreciating. You've got a proven technology, proven product. You've proven there's a market. He's taking more. Everybody Yo, he's taking more idea. wine. Nobody would invest. And I only got David's like taking more wine. Passion will take you long. James, who did you call? Half the fucking pile's Cook. gone. He's the founder of Samuel Adams. Jim basically wanted to make sure that whoever I'm becoming a, a partner with, they understand the vision, they understand the possibilities. Is he an, uh, an investor in the company? Jim's an advisor. An advisor. He doesn't have any equity at no all. No equity. Then why did he just give you the money for your extra line that you need? He, he recommended that it would be valuable to me to pay additionally above what I'm asking for for an investment of 3%, 300000 for 8% of the company. That's your counter. That's my counter. Mark Cuban's not interested in that. And tell me why, Mark. Because it's not enough skin in the game. God, he's going to fucking, he's going to leave it's just not with worth no it. deal twice. What I suggested and they agreed with was that we need to get significant skin in the game. So what we suggested was $600,000 for 30% because that's $200,000 a piece, 10% equity a piece. Why can't... You're talking yourself out of a sale. You need to make a decision. Don't do this again, James. We made a very fair offer to you. You've got to make a decision. Ooh, he's going to crack it open. A bottle of wine. Yeah. 30% of the company, that should go for $1.2 million, and I'm going to sell it for 600000 I think he's saying yes. What are you saying? <laughs> What is he doing? James, what are you saying? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? He's fucking weird. I'm out. You know what? I'm out. <laughs> you screwed around. You're playing games, and there's nothing I hate more than playing games. Well, now what? Now what do you have for a deal? I'm really out. I mean, you just came here to waste our time. <laughs> Cheers. He just left. He didn't even fucking... What the fuck? What the fuck was that? I'm sorry, but I think I've earned this. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna take it. I came here in good faith, really wishing what? for these sharks to become my what partners. What the fuck no was that? that? It's all about the money and whether they could get a discount on the value of my company. I won't be back. Oh my God. Well, I mean, he fucking, uh, he, he, I think he did all right on his own anyway from what it says here, but Jesus Christ, like what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, he ended up he ended up being right. I, well, there, it, it depends, I guess, on what you're what you're saying in terms of like what he did. Like, if he if if he was right or wrong, you never really know. Who knows how much he could have made if he did sell off the patent and essentially sell it to other wineries, so that way they were also using the same thing. I mean, would it have made more? Who knows? Would they would it have made less? I don't know. Our product is buggy beds. And we are seeking a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar investment, seven percent equity in our company. Bed bugs are crawling everywhere. Bed bug infestations have increased over five hundred percent in the last few years alone. A simple twin bed like this can have thousands to hundreds of thousands of bed bugs. These billionaires don't know anything about that, and man. They fucking live high end. Buggy beds is a bed bug glue trap that is an early detection system. It's designed to attract. Trap bed bugs dead. They can sell these wholesale to like uh, cheap motels though. You take it with you to hotel rooms. How long have you guys been hey, doing Hey, there you we go. We launched the product about <laughs> six months ago. So you want help in getting retail distribution? Correct. Does this eradicate 
all of the bed bugs. This has been designed actually as an early detection system. Sure. Everyone keeps asking the same question. Why are we so infested? Because there is no really good early, early detection, detection system. Is it tested and proven, or yes, is this your claim? We've tested it. We just had a housing authority, for instance. We sent them a case of 144 traps at their request for a sample three months ago. They just placed an order last week for 22,000 traps because of the successful results. Wow. We started with Home Depot's website, and they just picked us up for 60 of their stores. Home Depot? Product? Correct. We also just got a purchase order from 75 Burlington Coat Factories. Burlington Coat Factory? The company's valued at around 1.75. Why are you valuing the company at that? Before we launched, I was offered $5 million for the trademarks and the patents from a company. Whoa! And you turned that down? Yes. Wow. Oh, no, not again. Shame on you. Oh, no, here we go again. Our miss is wonderful in business. We just had a Walmart local manager look at it, and the first thing he said is, wow, this is eye candy. You can have an end cap in front of the register. I like ladies, her. ladies. I want you to step outside for me, OK? okay. What? Wait, you can't. Oh. OK, boys what the and fuck? girl. We all want part of this deal. She turned down $5 million. Yeah, she turned down $5 million. Do you really want to go in about the dollars or getting all five million? Well, I'd rather have a bigger chunk for myself, to be honest with you. I'm always uh, wary when Kevin does all the talking and Mark doesn't say a word. I'm just listening. I'm just listening. Are you in on this? I have nothing to say. <laughs> I have nothing to say. What the fuck is he scheming? He's like, I'm not saying anything. And then they come back in and he's like, I'm out. <laughs> I'll be brutally honest. I'm going to let you guys talk. I'm going to listen and see what they say and decide from there. Ladies, what would really get me excited about working with both of you ladies is 25% of the company. But I also respect my fellow sharks and I don't want to compete with them. So I will invite any one of them into that deal. I'm willing to come in on Kevin's deal. Okay. I've lived through rolling out products in Walmart. It's very hard. I want to help you. 7-Eleven has 40,000 stores globally, so I can help you with Dash. I mean, there's a lot of value. In They're sticking these things in some random ass stores, man. Everybody has to wet their beak. Mark, are you in on this? I have nothing to say. Ladies, I'm going to give you an offer now. You have to accept it now. I'm not going to wait. I don't have time for the little boy game. Little boy I'm game. Give you Barbara's kind of unhinged with these comments. But I'm going to tell you, we don't need these boys to help us find our success. Oh my God. Barbara. Oh, be there at the end. And that's Barbara. Barbara. They're both giving you basically the same value of the Correct. company. Ladies, do you accept the offer or not? My offer's off the table. What? I'm out. What just happened? Too bad. I think the best deal is if you know, Barbara wants to come back in to five of us on You're the... being a gentleman. No, I'll leave the boys club up to the boys. Oh, I mean, my God, Barbara! Barbara! I'm in on the deal with Mark, Damon, and Kevin. 250000 for 25%. Damn, four of them. Come on, Barbara. Barbara, you should come in. I don't even like these guys. But just to make your life pleasant, I'm gonna jump back in the deal. Before you change your mind, you have all five sharks, quarter million dollars. Okay, yes or no? Can we take one minute? No. To... Don't, don't even, don't think, even about think about it. Don't even think about it. It's a deal. Wow. That is history. Wow. Thank you for now go back and sprinkle bed bugs in every hotel and restaurant you can. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? Yes. You can't do that. I mean, <laughs> manipulating the market. He says. Go spread bed bugs everywhere so they could use the fucking product. What the fuck? Uh, let's see where they're at now. Did they sell their shit? They might have sold. Was in approximately 60 Home Depot stores. They shot up to 350 stores almost immediately and will soon be in more. 75 Burlington Coat Factory stores were carrying the product prior to taping. Now it's in all of their stores. In April 2021, the business sold a majority stake to Rock Mountain Capital. I knew they got sold. And exited the Sharks from their ownership percentages. So they remain significant minority owners of the company and are still active with the business. As of May 2023, that's pretty fucking recent, the annual revenue is $4 million. So they sold, uh, They every, all the sharks got their shit back. They fucking left and it's back to back to this, just them two, I guess. Uh, have I seen the Lift ID episode? Uh, no, what is Lift ID? Hi, Hi sharks. I'm what the Alex fuck is that thing? Okay. That's a Naruto uh, headband. We're behind one of the hottest devices in the world. We're looking for a $200,000 investment for 10% of our company. 
Sharks, nowadays, everyone is searching for ways to increase productivity, focus, and performance. To get a boost, students, professionals, video gamers, and athletes are all consuming too much caffeine and sugary snacks. What if there were a smarter way to get a similar boost of energy using a new emerging technology? Our device uses a mild electric current that passes through two electrodes placed on the upper forehead <laughs> area known as the front. <laughs> So fucking a goofy. part of the brain that when stimulated has been shown to increase focus, attention, and memory. <laughs> a stimulation session lasts. <laughs> Who's ready to get productive? Get focused and, and get, get lifted. lifted. What we're going to do is there are sponges in, right in front of right you that are in a saline solution. Put them inside your electrodes and then you're ready to go. Bro, what the fuck is it? It's like sponges. It's a fucking new age electric what? chair that they fucking <laughs> made. What the, what, what the fuck? What the fuck? All right, I'm going to hold mine, okay? Does okay. everybody yeah. hear a beep? Ooh. A beep. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a robot. Oh. Oh. It's ramping up. Oh. Oh. It's ramping up for 30 seconds. I feel like I'm being shot. The brain has billions of neurons. What's happening is called neuroplasticity. That means the more you do that, the more those neurons are more likely to fire the next time you do wait, it. Wait, all sharks, all, this is a notice to all sharks. Warnings for lifted neurostimulation. Do not use if you have any electronic implanted medical device, a metal plate in the brain, a pacemaker, or defibrillator. Epilepsy, seizures, brain lesions, or severe heart disease. Oh, he's sweating Do not now. Use if you have sensitive skin or a rash, broken skin, or open wounds such as sores, cuts, or pimples. Right. Do not use while driving, drinking, or any situation where you may be impaired. Has no medical benefit and is not intended, intended to, to protect prevent or treat any, any medical, medical condition. We're not making any medical claims. I'm not saying you're making claims, but <laughs> right. the point is, Mark, this is for cognitive benefit. It's for focus, attention, and memory. I was National Salesman of the Year for Hasbro at 23 years old. I introduced General Mills to the two-piece spoon in the lid that was on Colombo yogurt, if you remember that. I get it, Ken. I, I, I get wait, it. Keep going. Okay. Keep on going. On. You got a lot of this energy, but I want to go Kevin, back. Let to, me tell you. Hear me. I just want to ask a question. We got best product. Ken, I got best product. Can you product came of to the, the Shark Tank for an investment? You won't let the investors talk. I've traveled to every trade show in the world. I've come to go to okay, consumer Ken, electronics Ken, Ken. for 30 I'm years. I'm going to press that I've button on your head in a second. <laughs> I, I have to ask a question. Okay, please. Just okay. Listen, <laughs> Ken. How much have you sold? He's he's pitching a product to help him focus, and he can't focus. The only thing he's focused on is listing his fucking accolades. I'm out. Okay. Thank I you. accept the fact that you were a great salesman because you were telling me that, but I can't justify the great salesman with the absolutely horrific presentation you just said. <laughs> yeah. I did nothing but come out here and talk. <laughs> the nicest thing I can say to yes. you today is I'm out. Okay. <laughs> I do not doubt for one second that you believe yes. I, I have a headache, and I don't know whether it's you or my session on the lifted. You are now in the lexicon of the craziest pitches ever on Shark Tank. I can't join you guys. That, but, but Kevin, I, I'm I... out. Guys, look, you tried to sell science without using science. And for that reason, I'm out. The sharks are going to regret that they did not invest in lifted. It's a multi-billion yeah. dollar category, and we can't wait to keep it growing this particular brand. She looks like she's kind of like second guessing herself there at the end there. She kind of this She kind of looks like she's like, man, maybe this product really is a stinker. Let's see where it is. Oh, there's no fucking way you can still buy this piece of shit. The site is still up. This looks like a scam though. There's no way that this is like, is this real? God, should I buy one? <laughs> I gonna buy one of these and I'm going to try it. <laughs> It'll probably never come. There's no way it'll ever come. I want to use it while I'm playing a game and just see if it and see if it makes me focus. Oh god, it is the Pavlock situation again. This is how I got fucking looped into it before. This is this is what happens. This is how I this is this is what happens to me. I'm too easily fucking baited, man. These startup companies, they get me every single time. They get me every single time. <laughs> uh the company sold a lot of units in the immediate aftermath of the original air date. As of May, 2022, they're still in business with 6 million in revenue and a 25 million valuation. What the fuck? What the fuck? How? Oh my God, you guys, no fucking way. No fucking way. I'm on the Amazon page for this fucking thing and I'm scrolling down 
And lo and behold, look what's there right underneath it. Are these guys in cahoots? Are they in cahoots or something? What the hell? I just kind of want to play a game with it and see what happens. Please don't. But what if it helps me focus? What if I, I become a better gamer?